I think Haiti got to this situation because there are two forces that are at play. You have, first of all, the, the international community that has for years and years held a grip on Haiti and directed the way that Haiti should be. And then you have the man-made disasters, Haitian leaders who have catered mostly to the international community and have not respected the human rights of Haitians and have terrorized Haitians. And this is what we have had, certainly, for the last 11 years. Now, you mentioned the, the earthquake, the hurricanes. These are natural disasters that if indeed we have a state that provides services and that plans ahead, then we can at least prepare for them. But we do not have that. And for the last 11 years, we have had a governance system. It came from Martelly, then we had Jovenel Moïse, and now with Ariel Henry, who actually work with the gangs, who actually sometimes pay the gangs and are in cahoots with the gangs so that they cannot provide services for the Haitian population, whether it's health, whether it's education, whether it is security. So I, we believe that what has to be resolved is we need a different kind of governance. We need different leaders who are involved in providing services, for respecting the human rights. And when I talk about human rights, I'm not only talking about right to expression, right to political activity, but I'm talking about the rights to social services, education. I'm talking about health. About half of the population doesn't have access to health care. And I'm talking about the right to live so as not to be terrorized by gangs. So that is how we got to the situation, and that is how we need to move back so that the leadership of the country can be a leadership that looks to its citizens and provides for its citizens, rather than a leadership that rapes, that kills, that steals from its citizens along with the gangs. And I think that is the leadership model, mm -hmm. that is the governance model that we are talking about. And this is where we want to go. And if you want more information, we can provide that. Right. And that is where the Montana Accord is leaning towards, and that is what right. we have been funding for the last two years.